Welcome back guys. I hope all of you are doing well and enjoying your Excel practices. Today I'm going to share with you a very handy tip that is adding a watermark into your spreadsheets. We often do that, for example, creating invoices or some documents that we really want to be personalized with, for example, lawyers, etc. I've seen them adding a kind of a watermark behind it serves as a as a very beautiful reference and make it a little bit more formal for them. So quickly, I will turn on to Excel spreadsheet and we will see how it can be done very quickly. So let's move on to our spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet, as you can see, we have multiple tabs on the ribbon and the tab that is useful for you in this case, that is the view one. Click on the view and you have multiple options and one of the workbook view options is page layout. Click on it and the moment you click on the page layout, you enter into a different mode. Click on the top and you will find head and footer place. This is, these are the three big boxes. Click inside and then you can do whatever you want. You can add text, you can add pictures. Obviously, um, you will prefer to have an image, maybe your logo or something like that. That is fine. You also must have noticed that there are head and footer on the top, newly added format um, kind of a button on the ribbon. So you can click on it and it will give you further more options. You can add anything. You can add da dates. You can add uh, um, file names, etc., etc. And one of the options that you see there is picture. Click on it and it will take to multiple options that you can see on the screen. One of the first one is very useful for me. I will click on the browse and I will enter into the browse mode of my pictures. I have this logo, Excel to Excel logo as a practice. I inserted it. No worries. At this point, it's showing only and picture. No problem. Just come down and you will see the picture pulled in. Now, it is not the ideal position where I want to have it. So I need a little bit down. No problem. Just go at the start of and and click a few enters and then go back. You will see your logo is in the middle of the sheet. This way, you can entertain this logo and adjust it in multiple positions in your spreadsheet. Guys, that was one of my um, quick shot tips for all of you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to speak to you and see you again. Till then, keep practicing Excel. Do share your comments in the comment section. And if you're a first timer, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you can regularly get notifications from my channel. Guys, enjoy your day. And I look forward to speak to you very, very soon. Till then, ta-da.